Hi, welcome back to vlog number three. I'm not sure if that will click in well, but I'll just try it anyway. Vlog number three. So we've had a little bit about brand personality and what you are as a brand, talking about it in vlog one. Vlog two was really finding out the personality and who is your target market and how they align. Both so important when trying to connect authentically with your target market and being authentic as a brand. And things you know that I've talked about that you don't really think about when you're starting your business, but are really, really important when you're in your business and you need that clear direction. It's so hard to explain. It's like you don't know what you've got to you. You don't know what you have. What is it you don't know until you lost it? And that's wrong. You don't know how helpful something is until you have it. When you don't know, then like my boyfriend, he's uh, working, he's invented a neuron table. And how amazing is that? The fact that this table doesn't rock anymore. How many times we were at a cafe and it rocks, but you just get used to it. It's the same thing with my brand pack and understanding all of these elements. Once you've got it, you don't know what you would have done without it. Just like a no rock table. And that's not a, that's not a, what is it? That's not a plug. That's just a perfect example of being used to something until you've been directed and something that's actually so much easier and better and with ease. And you think, gosh, how did I ever function without it? So talking about that, talking about you and your what you're about, your target market, I thought the natural progression to talk about would be strengths and weaknesses. Now, this is something that we... Don't, we love talking about our strengths. I've got the best makeup. I've got the best service. I've got this. You're all out there. But you've got to be careful because that coming out all our world now, it doesn't seem authentic and not understanding the realness behind it. If you're, if you're good at everything, and I've said this before and I'm sure I will say it again, if you're the jack of all trades, then you're the master of none. And it's good to know what you're good at and what you're not good at so then you can develop and you can grow. So what I want you to think about now, and you're as a business owner, I want you to start with thinking about yourself, your strengths and your weaknesses as a person. Because I'm going to look at two things here. Firstly, strengths and weaknesses as a person and then strengths and weaknesses as a business. So strengths and weaknesses as a person, for example, I, you know, my own process in getting through with this, in, you know, starting my website, coming up with the idea, my strengths were I had the skill set to be a marketer. I've, I have been for 12 years in strategy and understanding all that. That is a skill. That is a strength. But then, okay, well, and then what are my weaknesses? So, well, it took me a while to work out some than others, but I can't, I'm not a videographer. So how do I do it? Salty. Sorry, I have a dog whistling at the door. Let me just get it. What? You want to come in? You want to come in here too? Hi. Can I come up? You coming up? <laughs> come on then. This is Salty. He's a crazy one of the family. Gotcha. This crazy one. You are. You are. He's our crazy dog. So what was I going back? Knowing your strengths and your weaknesses. It's as a person, I knew my strengths were marketing, but I didn't. I knew my weaknesses were things like I couldn't do a website. I didn't know how to do graphic design. And the thing is, it's going to take a lot of time to do it, and I'm not going to do it justice. So knowing as a business owner your strengths and weaknesses are really important too. And knowing how you can partner with people to make it better. And I'm going to talk about that a lot more in my next week's uh, vlog. I've got a very special guest and it's about my personal experience on how I worked out, okay, well, I'm all these things. And it was about it was content writing. So I actually had this on my list of, well, I know how to write. I write. I'm writing about myself. I can do this. So I did all the other things and I knew what I wasn't good at and I'm like, well, if my product's going to be good and believable and authentic, I need to get the right partners. But what happened was I thought content would be something that I could do because it's from me. We're in this world now where we can just write from ourselves and people expect that it's not like reading, you know, the Australian or the New Yorker or these high, you know, editorial books or anything like that. It's from me. But I got down the track and it was the last thing on my list and I was going to launch a website and I was embarrassed by my writing because I wasn't conveying what I wanted. And it nat naturally, 
I'm not a good run and I know this inside of me and it's one of those things that you're not good at, you just avoid. I avoided it everything. I recorded my videos, I did all the packs, I did all everything, but I left this to the end and it was that big thing that I would never want to go live if it wasn't perfect. So then I met someone, a content writer, and she changed my world. Literally, she changed my website and it was awesome. So knowing that as your person sitting down and going, what am I good at, what am I not good at? Because not only that, being professional and coming across, like delivering what you want to deliver, it is also about the fact that your time, you could spend hours wasting time trying to get it and you just do not go back to it. So working out what you do and working out what best saves your time because as a small business owner, you need to get things done quickly. And when I do a blog post on the amount of times I wasted time thinking I could do something and then I never got onto it. So quick, exa- quick little session, write down what your strengths and weaknesses are. Focus on what you can be good at and find the perfect match of people that can do what you can't and meet you in the middle at this level. As I said, there's no levels, but meeting you at the same level and delivering what you want it to look and feel and sound. It's so important. The next thing I wanted to talk about is strengths and weaknesses as a business. So we know what we are as a person. We know what we offer, what we don't offer as a person. You need to, again, like a brand personality, work out what your strengths and weaknesses are. I dedicate a full week to talking about this, talking about your strengths and your weaknesses as a business. This doesn't have to be shared. This could be your dirty, dark secret. You don't have to share this with anyone. You want to always strive to be better. That is a... That's... You look at all successful people in this world, they never just were happy with status quo. They were, they were always pushing the boundary themselves and in their environment to get something better. And that's how everything that has been great, I believe, in the world has happened by somebody challenging just the norm. And it's the same for your business. How can you be better? Knowing your strengths and weaknesses are then going, okay, well, this is where I stand. I want to be here. How do I get here? Without doing that, you, without setting out your strengths and weaknesses, you don't know what you want. And then you can look at your strengths to help you get and complement your weaknesses. So knowing that is really important. And that is why I dedicated a whole, a whole week to that because I think that it is a great way to then reassess, strategize. okay, how am I going to get there? Who am I going to bring in to help me get there? What do I need to do more? It's really a great way to put you in a map with the competitors and see how you can grow. I think it's a positive thing to say, hey, this is what we're going to be better at and how we're going to do it. As I said, the brilliant people in this world are always saying there, these are my faults, put my hands up to it, my weakness, how am I going to make it better? You're always learning and you're always evolving. And you know that's exactly probably why you're watching this video today because you're like, well, what can I do to make my offering stronger? Taking in information, it's just at our fingertips and it's so exciting because we are at a world where we can view information, we can search information, we can speak to people. There's so many more small businesses out there. We're all online as well so we can communicate and it makes your offering stronger. So the two main points that I wanted to talk to about, did I just get straight into it and I didn't even talk about the tea? Oh my gosh. Tea today. Can't believe it. Peppermint. Actually, I think it's T2 spearmint. It is delicious. Or pure peppermint. It's yum. And you know what's also really nice in summer? Iced peppermint tea. Lots of blocks and berries. It's delicious. Um, I just love it. And it's the afternoon. I'm recording the afternoon, so no milk in my tea today. Um, sorry, I just got distracted. And I'm thinking, I'm talking so much and I'm parched. I didn't even talk about my tea. So there, talking, going back to what I was talking about, strengths and weaknesses, knowing your strengths and weaknesses as a business owner and how to outsource. And so I'm going to talk about more in the next week's vlog. I'm bringing someone in, so stay tuned for that. And then knowing your strengths and weaknesses as a business. And that is like a person. Your business is like a person. If you haven't got that theme already, working out how you can be better and how you can strive strategically to be a better business and a better all-round brand and that is what we talk about in one week four of my brand pack so get online find out more about it stay tuned for my vlogs I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying sharing my information with you and getting the feedback you guys it's great and it's really 
it's exciting. Like five years ago, in my world, ten years ago, we wouldn't be doing this. And I think it's great that we can now share information, share ideas, and work together to make our businesses better and support each other. I know it's a bit of an emotional. That's a bit emotional, but it's true. It's great, and I think we should all keep doing it and keep supporting each other. So for another week, vlog number three. I'm Chris Baldy for my brand story, and I'll see you next week with my special guest. See ya.